Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica J. And I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, Jessica, what things should I never do with a woman that I really want? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked because that's exactly what I'm going to tell you as usual. And to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to hear about the shit you shouldn't be doing if you're into her or another one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with that notification bell. Okay, so I can't tell you, and I feel like I say that every single time, how many times I'm on a client call and I see one of my clients do one of these things and I'm just like oh god I know exactly what she's gonna say about it once I ask her and then I come back on the call I'm like this is why women don't like you this is why you lost her this is why she lost interest in you and to find out just how much a woman wants you when you want her based on the things we're actually attracted to don't forget to take my quiz jessicajdating.com slash quiz to find out just how much this girl likes you too cause I bet ya it's at least a little bit and if you know you want her to want you as bad as you want her make sure you stay up to the very end after that quiz to watch my video on what you can do based on the ways you're dropping the ball with the women you want again jessicajdating.com slash quiz okay so let's get right to it the first one is don't ever fucking do this in front of a woman talk about other women especially your ex so one thing i always say is if you have any type of feelings in that moment it's gonna be contagious so if you want her her, there is a 99% chance that she at least wants you a little bit. And then from there, women assess based on how you make us feel. You're either making us feel good or you're making us feel off. And bringing up another woman when we have an inkling that you might be somebody we want in the puss, we're gonna shut down in the puss. Bringing up another puss will make us shut down in the puss. Write that down, put it on your mirror. Even if there's nothing going on between us, all women have this weird... Mm, Oh, never mind. That happens in us when a man we're talking to suddenly brings up a woman. Even when it's not a man I want, I get a little, oh, okay, there's a girl. And I don't know why. And every single time one of my clients is talking to our practice girls and he brings up a woman, she is always bothered by it. And none of them can articulate why it was a little bit bothersome. So just, you know, keep it to yourself. Say you went there with a friend. Don't even mention you went there with anybody else. Don't even mention that you've ever been with another woman woman fucking ever. And if you so happen to bring up a woman, always say, oh, that was my sister. Oh, that was my friend's wife. Oh, that was a friend of mine who is married. You gotta take out all possibility of you having put your dick in her ever or you presently putting the peen in her puss. That's the only way you can salvage it. The second one is criticize her or her choices. I always feel just a pang of, ooh. Anytime I hear a client criticize something that the girl brings up. It might be something like, oh God, yeah, I was out really late last night. And he might say something like, well, that wasn't very smart now, was it? Like, buddy, how about you go get smart with a dick in your ass right now? Because yours isn't going in mine anymore. Again, it is, is this man making us feel good or is this man making us feel off? And these two things I mentioned already, not only make us feel off about you, they make us feel bad about you. Even if you do have some fucking critical thoughts for her in that moment just keep them to yourself because it's just, ugh, just we want a man who supports us uplifts us and the second you start criticizing any of our choices is the second we're gonna make sure you're no longer one of our choices now the third one the third and the fourth one these are things that they're not so bad but do them more and more over time and you will absolutely lose us and neither one of us will know why we're not into you anymore and this is something so subtle that even my clients are blown away that one, they do it as much and two, that the girls admit that yeah, I was getting kind of bored. Yeah, I noticed he was doing that and I just started drifting. And number three, you've heard me talk about this on this channel, depending on how long you've been with me, which is talk about things. What a hard word to say slowly without making it personal. So y'all have heard me say, if y'all saw my live stream yesterday, you heard me say that the number one thing we all have in common is human experience. We all got here the same way. We're all leaving the same way. We all have a brain and a body. Agreed? Number two, everyone's number one interest is themselves. 
at our very core, the number one thing we are all interested in is ourselves. So if you are speaking from your personal experience, I will be able to relate to you 100% of the time because I too have a human experience. So you're talking about your human experience. I can relate. I too have experiences of being human. Therefore, I can relate to you, see myself as you. Ooh, my number one interest is myself. I am now interested in you, okay? Transitive property. And yet, if you talk about the weather, details of your job, season eight, Game of Thrones, anything that has nothing to do with our experience, I call it Google gaming, anything you could find on Google. If you talk about things with absolutely no experiential detail in it, we're gonna start losing interest. We're gonna start losing interest in what you're saying in this moment, and then we're eventually just gonna start losing interest in you because we're going to equate losing interest and boring monotonous conversation with this guy right here and a lot of times only my girlfriends will come back to me who do practice sessions with me in my coaching program they will come back and be like okay I get it that guy was a big Google gamer that's why I stopped letting him hit it and now all my girlfriends who do practice sessions with me now go on all these dates and get so fucking bored so fucking fast because now they're aware when a guy on a date is Google gaming and they're like oh yeah this is when it gets boring because again, if I don't have a vested interest in what you're saying, I'm not gonna have a vested interest in you. And a lot of you guys think that having common interest in things is gonna translate to me having an interest in you. But no, I do not care for gentlemen who want to talk to me about Game of Thrones. No interest in men who want to talk to me about chihuahuas. I fucking love my chihuahua. I'm so interested in him. No interest in men who want to talk to me about animals or domesticating squirrels or playing the piano. I don't give a fuck. So it's not about the things, it's about the experience. So talking about things will make us feel off till eventually we'll be completely put off to you. And the last one, this is something that a lot of you don't realize you probably do the majority of the time you're talking to women. Because a lot of us do it the majority of the time we're talking to anybody. And that is leave the present moment. So if you say something like, so what do you do for fun? leaving the present moment and also talking about things. If you say something like, back when I was a kid, I used to X, Y, Z, out of the present moment. Or even, so like, when was the last time you felt passionate about something? Leaving the present moment. Because I'll tell you right now, the feelings and the connections are right here. Right here, right now, between me and you. So if me and you aren't discussing right here, right now, you are going to force me into my head. And if you force me into my head, you're forcing forcing me away from you and you're forcing me out of my body. And in my body is where I'm going to feel my emotions and my feelings for you. That's why I always say be personal and relevant. Be experiential to the moment right now. Say shit like right now I'm sitting here wondering if you guys know I'm not wearing any pants. Keep it as right here right now as you can because right here right now is where we're assessing how we feel about you. And if you force us into our head out of the right here right now, talk about the future, talk about the past, talk about anything not related to right here right now, you're forcing us into our heads. And you want to keep us in our bodies as much as possible if you want to come in our bodies. And if you know that you don't fucking know how attractive you are to the women you want and where you're dropping the ball with the women you want, especially if you're realizing that you may have done one or more of these four things, don't forget to take my quiz, jessicajdating.com slash quiz to find out where you are dropping the ball. Little stuff like what we talked about today is peppered in that quiz. So you can see just how guilty you are of creating the disconnect when you don't have to or creating that off feeling when you don't mean to, obviously and what you could do instead to make sure that you only get women feeling good about you, especially the women you want. So again, jessicagdating.com slash quiz. Be mindful of these four things. Don't fucking do them if you really like her. And thanks for watching as always. I will see you next time.